Welcome Top Pro, this is Coach Carol Mazur, and today's Action Our Coaching topic is 8x8 eight eight mailings to become the neighborhood top producer in 8 weeks. There are some branding companies that charge like $30,000 a year to give you some tips, so they'll tell you irregular size cards, you know, not your standard, so that people will open them. They might tell you silver ink, that's your $30,000 of branding. But if you could do them by hand in an unusual colored ink and an unusual size invitation, you can even send them an invitation just to visit your website. So that's one idea. Or you can send them an invitation to an open house you're doing in the area. You'll want to brand yourself as the neighborhood expert. So you're just telling them, I'm the neighborhood expert. If you create something once a week and there's 52 weeks in the year, you've got 52 mailings or 52 ideas. 52 touches, 52 follow-ups, 52 emails. It's even just doing one a week. So let's start putting these ideas into practice. So you can mail a just listed, just sold postcard. It might say, sold in three days, if you have something that's sold fast. Another one might be sold in one week or three, make it, you know, the smaller number. If it's, don't put 21 days, you, you know, you would say, sold in three weeks the smaller number, or you might say sold for all cash or sold for full price. So always put though that type of information in your just listed, just sold card. You can send these to expireds, for sale by owners, um, your center of influence. Choose a neighborhood that has recent sales. If you're mailing to a neighborhood where nobody ever moves, kind of a waste of time. Local stats, that's a big one. They want to know what's been selling in the neighborhood. Now, if you have Top Producer, you can actually just put their address in Top Producer 8i, and it shows you what's active sold right on the um, inside the database. So that's an easy way to find the stats. Print recent sales figures and mail them to the neighborhood and add a call to action. A good call to action is visit my website for a free online market analysis. Now, of course, they're not accurate, so you'd have to send them a second email that says, do you want a more accurate figure? But be sure to direct them to your website. And building a relationship with them is a lot easier than them having to call you, because that's the hardest close there is. If you say, uh, you know, call me, call a salesperson, that's a little scary for them. So try to do it softer where, you know, create the relationship. Here's some things for you. Visit my website, put in your email address, and I'll send it to you. So you, you're doing more work, but you're creating more value, and you're building the relationship. The next thing you can do is any type of letter. The happy client letter, that's a very good one. That's where they tell a story. I was looking for a house and I was having a really big problem. I needed to sell my house. We had to be somewhere in a hurry. It wasn't working out. And then I met my great agent and the next thing you know, and blah, blah, blah. Now we have our dream home. So any type of happy letter is a great idea. Postcards are always wonderful because they read them. They can't throw them out without looking at them. Your picture on maybe one side but then really strong calls to action on the postcard offers with a call to action. Funny or informative would be great, but always your photo and always your branded colors. Any type of flyers that you want to send. Direct them where to go. Tell them exactly how to do that. You know, enter your name and email address. Only ask for first name and email address in the beginning. And then when you send them something else, you get more information, their last name and other information from them, because they're not going to put their whole history into a web form answering a zillion questions. Next neighborhood or company listings. These would be, you know, your photos, your website, anything like that. And if you wanted to do any type of giveaways, movie tickets, anything, if you go to a restaurant, and they have some options like freebies, a free dessert with dinner, things like that. And then neighborhood news, that's always a great thing. You can just go online. You can actually do a Google alert where you search the neighborhood so everything that pops up from the neighborhood gets sent to your email. And direct them to that page on your website for the neighborhood happenings. You know, post them on there. Thursday evening, outside, outdoor concert. So your top pro coaching assignment is to create an 8x8 plan. You're going to make a repeatable plan for your eight mailings. Be sure to multi-purpose them so you can use some of them for your expired and your for sale by owners. 